Hello and welcome. This is Darius Barasande, host of the U.S. Revolution. And if you're about to watch this amazing session that we did, then you're part of a group of humans on this planet who are ascending and moving into a higher frequency. You're not here by accident, and I'd like to offer you a special gift that will help you to adjust to some of these frequencies, plug in even deeper, and it's an energy activation MP3 that will double the power of your energy field in less than 57 seconds. It's absolutely free, and it's the first link in the description down below, but it's also gonna let you get to hear calls like this one live and get daily help from healers, teachers, and masters all over the world. It's absolutely free and it's part of what we're doing every day at UAuth Revolution. So if you feel called in your heart, you can click the link down below and the special session that you wanted to watch and experience will start right now. You know, I've heard you say that there's interesting things happening on the planet. Um, what, is, what is going on <laughs> on the planet as you travel the world? Yeah, well, well, well basically uh, you have this massive uh, acceleration that's happening. And, I, you know, I can't, you know, there, there's two sides to it, right? There's the notion of uh, the reference or understanding it, which if you, if you study uh, uh, mystic uh, traditions and yogis and shamans, all the ancient cultures, uh, the folks in India, the Tibetans, basically everybody has an understanding for, mm -hmm. just like on planet Earth, we have understanding for the seasons, right? We all experience our planet moves around the sun and as we're far away from the sun it's cold and when it gets closer it's warm these seasons go on and on and on and if you experience them you understand there's a change in physics uh, as the seasons progress well in the same way you have our star system traveling through the g galactic sphere if you will so our star just like the planet goes around the sun our star goes around the actual center of the galaxy. And this process has been mapped out by all the ancient peoples, all the ancient cultures. They call it the shift of the ages. And basically, mm -hmm. if everyone recalls back to uh, 2012 and the big shift that happened in December, that was the culmination of the Mayan calendar that basically the Tolkien that describes this transit as we travel through around the galactic state. Well, what's significant about that is that just like there's a change in physics on planet Earth when we're far away or closer to the sun, in the same way when we're further away from the center of the galaxy, there's a different dimensional condition, right? It's a completely different state of physics dimensionally. When it's like traveling across the country, right? When you go into an inner city, there's a certain type of condition. When you go out into the hills, it's a little bit different. Well, when, when we get closer to the center of the galaxy, which is what happens when we go through these these transits of ages, the, the physics change. And that, from my perspective, is kind of the reference of what's going on right now. Yet the physics of what's going on right now is that what's happening, and again, this has been mapped out by every ancient people. Usually mm -hmm. ancient traditions, religions call it a, at the end of an age, they call it a, a flood. You see many references in all the different world traditions to a flood. And the flood is not really the right word. It's really, India preserves the, the, the translation. The translation is not so good. Uh, the, the, the translation in India, they call it pralaya. And what pralaya means, it's a dissolution. So what that uh -huh. means is all the dimensions and planes and the way that reality was flowing in the previous age, right, dissolve. All those structures dissolve. And what happens is a f the flood is of, not of water, it's of spirit, it's of energy. It's of a new flow form of energy that's coming in to dissolve the old structures that maybe were working well for the previous age but aren't really age appropriate for the new season. And, and in the process, it clears that, and then it starts to induce a new kind of expression, if you will, for the new season that we're moving into. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Uh, I've got to ask the question. I mean, for people that are writing in, a lot of people with some interesting things going on, like job losses, turmoil, <laughs> releasing yeah. a marriage, as we tend to say, yeah. um, even physical things coming up, illnesses and pains. I mean, yeah. what, if things are getting better in that sense of the acceleration, why would people be well, sort of being well, such turmoil? That's a, that's a key question. And, and I didn't, you know, I want to be clear, I didn't mean to imply things were necessarily getting better. Because here's how it works, right? If things intensify, and, and by the way, this, this acceleration that's happening is part from the shift of the ages. It's also part from what our society is doing, right? We're, okay. we're right now bombarding everyone with Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi accelerates your heart rate. Cell phone towers accelerate your brain waves. 
right? All these frequencies that are bombarding everyone are also accelerating and intensifying things. Well, I always tell people in our seminars around the planet, right, intensification acceleration has an upside and a good side and a not so good side. The, the, the not so good side is that anything going on in your reality that's incoherent is going to get accelerated and pop. Injury, emotion, stress, something that's not right, a relationship, a job, whatever is going on uh, that's not exactly what is designed and perfect for your reality is going to pop. Wow. That's the not so good side, right? The good side is that if you keep accelerating, eventually you're going to vibrate the speed of light, which means that your chakras are going to come into alignment and you're going to phase shift. It's like white light through a prism, right? White light comes through the prism. It diffracts into the red, red through purple, the color spectrum, right? Well, when, when things do go through the condition of your perception in the last age, right, it turns into your chakras and you have this kind of play of your, your, your individuated experience. Well, if you keep accelerating, and, and, and um, so, so you're going to accelerate to the point where you shift. This happens in every tradition, every mystic, every yogi, every shaman, every awakened person. There's an acceleration point where all the chakras line up and you shift into another state that just doesn't have chakras, right? It's beyond the state of chakras. It's a state of unconditioned, right? It's the unconditioned uh, state. So, so what, what I want to cover today with you all, because I'm really, I travel around doing seminars and trainings and we have a global network of folks. I don't want to give you all, you know, some new things to believe in. None of that, none of that has any relevance, right? The reference mm-hmm. is only helpful if you then achieve more tools and skills to be able to navigate your reality, okay? So the whole reference I just gave you, take it for what it is, right? Not worth anything. It's just a reference. What's important is that you have tools. Everybody has tools to assist as this acceleration is going on, well, how do we go to an injury or a challenge or a trouble area? How do we go to that area and invite it to unwind so that it can reset and integrate in with our ultimate destiny, our ultimate state of being? And how do we decelerate? On some days, how do we say, well, okay, it's a little too much for me right now. I can't really handle another piece of my reality coming undone. See, what's happening right now on the planet is every structure from every from economics to politics to religion to people's lives every structure is being it'd be like if you had a petri dish when you were growing something and you said gee we're going to grow something else so you put it under the sink and the sink's flooding in water and it's going to totally mess everything up that's going on in there and it's going to clean it but then it's going to leave you with this pristine new uh, environment for you to grow again right. that's what's happening on planet earth right now and this is a great moment to show everyone because I feel it naturally happening. I feel collectively we're kind of dropping into still point. So what I want to invite everyone here, if you're new to this, this approach, uh, I want to suggest you take a nice, bre- nice uh, breath in. And right at the top of the breath, uh, oh, relax, let go, let the breath out. And now take another nice breath in. And now stop right at the top of the breath. There's a little space right at the top of the breath. It kind of feels like holding the breath. And just rest here a moment. Feels like holding the breath. Don't hold the breath. Let the breath keep going like it does when you sleep. Yet you stay here in the space between the breath. Yeah, right there. I can't say this enough. This is the most important thing I'm going to share today. You know, good. I can feel we're kind of resting. Kind of like when you when you try. Feels like, oh, everyone try again. Take another nice big breath in. Stop right at the top. And hold. Feels like holding the breath. And relax a little. Let the breath keep going. Yet you stay here in the space between the breath. Try something while you're resting here. Try... Uh, holding a uh, thought or an emotion. Hmm. Not so easy. I can't say this enough. This is the your, your reality's neutral. Right? Like your car has neutral, right? So you can get in, you can get out, you can stop and figure out where you're going. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is the neutral condition. You all, every person came in as a baby in this state. All yogis and mystics are all in this state. When you sleep, you go to this state. 
all I suggest everywhere I go is to is to come back to this place throughout your day. Most people are in drive. They're going, going. Their emotions are going. Where they're going in life, where they're working, or they're going to retire. Slow it down and, and reset. And we're going to use this place throughout the course of this call. We're going to use this as a training. Every so often I'm going to suggest everyone take a nice breath in. And just... In my life, I train my condition. Every 10, 15 minutes I, I drop in here. I, I, I use this. Let me define it like this. In the previous age, everyone was using their sense of who they were as their operating system for navigating the planet. And from my perspective in this new age, this new season we're moving into, I use this state of still point as my operating system. This is where I, I use to manifest my reality. We do uh, whole processes where from this place, this is your nucleus, come here. Mm and then figure out how you're going to deal with some challenge or some situation. And we can cover along the way here, there are some different tools uh, for, for addressing how, how to open up to abundance, right? What's more abundant, your finite sense of you or this neutral state? I tell people, you want abundance, start saturating your reality in the condition of abundance, which is it's the neutral state of the universe. Hello and welcome, this is Jerry Sparazande, host of the Wealth Revolution, and if you enjoyed that snippet of one of our interviews, I'd invite you to just scroll down for one second and click the link down below. You're going to get access not only to a free gift that's going to double the power of your energy field in just 57 seconds, you're also going to get to be a part of the U.S. Revolution and listen to interviews just like the ones you heard that are happening live right now, daily where I interview some of the top healers, teachers, and masters in the field of energy transformation, energy healing, consciousness, ascension, and more. Plus, you're gonna to get to be on live calls where you'll get your questions answered, you'll get to submit them via webcast, you'll even get to be one-on-one -on -one live on the phone and get energy healing help daily. It's all part of what we've been doing. So get up to date, click the link, join, and be a part of it. And if you enjoyed this video or you like to see more of it, Click the like button or subscribe. I always upload new content and I give weekly energy updates. So please let us know how we can serve you. And thanks for watching and being in my life. Much love.